Okay, uh, sa video naman na to, tara, adjust ko lang yung mga dates. Ha? Kasi, parang hindi naman believable. 2017, 2018, 2019. Okay, so, ito, uh, dito, tunay siyempre na values. No? Uh, naglagay lang ako example ng profit and loss statement. So, we have here, ito yung profit and loss ng 2017. 2018 and then we have here 2019 okay if you will notice ang bottom line nila ng 56,000 pesos ang kinita niya net income ng 2017 2018 52 ng konte and then 2019 nagkaroon na siya ng loss oh uh, negative to negative 95 ngayon if kung kayo may ari nito sasabihin mo Bakit ganun? Ang sales natin tumataas. Ang net income natin bumababa. Ngayon, normally sasabihin natin, eh kasi sir, mataas po yung tax natin eh. Bakit ganun? Actually, pwede nyo na kagad na sabihin sa inyo ng mga tao ninyo. And pag hindi mo yan inanalyze, sasabihin mo, o oh, nga, totoo nga no, sabihin mo. Kasi itong gobyerno, ganito, ganyan. So, yan ang, uh, yun na kagad ang magiging uh, bottom line mong thinking, right? But, ang suggestion ko, don't go to that uh, this conclusion yet hanggang hindi mo siya ina-analyze. So, itong video na to talks about that. So, we will talk about the vertical analysis. Ang vertical analysis, uh, na-discuss na natin to sa balance sheet uh, isang video, previous video. Vertical analysis, uh, all the values here are compared against the total sales. Okay? So, lagi yun ang divisor mo. Uh, lahat ng 2018, syempre sa 2018 na sales. Lahat 2019 sa 2019 na sales. Yun ang vertical. O kasi ang, ang path niya ay from up to down. So, vertical. Meron pang isa, which is gagawin din natin dito, yung tiyatawag naman natin na horizontal. Okay? Uh, horizontal. Yung pinagsama ng dalawa na horizontal at vertical, yun yung kailangan natin gawin na analysis para ma-prove natin kung okay ba itong business natin. At ang mahalaga kasi hindi lang naman yung uh, makita natin kung sino ang mali, di ba? Hindi. Dapat ang tingin natin is, okay, given this, eto na yung nangyari. Past na to. It's just uh, a lag report. No? Lag report ang tawag niyan kasi tapos na yan eh. But kailangan mo kasi mga leading indicators eh. So that when you decide later on, you will realize, bago pa man mangyari yung lag report, yung mga tapos na, kailangan nagagawa mo ng paraan para hindi siya maging loss in the end. Di ba? Okay, so paano yun? So, ito muna, no? Unayin natin, unay natin muna yung ating vertical analysis. So, syempre, ang divisor natin, as we said, is in this case, yung B2, which is the sales, no? But this time, nalagyan natin ng, uh, ano to, no? Uh, gagawin natin siya na, naka-fix. So, which is B2 divided by B2, uh, no? uh, dollar sign. Okay, and then convert natin siya sa percent. Okay, and then copy. Oh, wala na tayong problema niyan. Copy. Then go down. Okay, nagko-copy pa rin siya dyan. Okay. And then final income. Oops, oh, sorry. Okay, final income. We have it. Right? Now, uh, ganun din tayo sa 2018. Pero you cannot copy the formula of 2017 uh, kasi ang divisor mo rito is yung pang 2018. Okay, again, dollar sign na naman tayo. Okay. And makikita mo na kagad dito. Uh, you know, but just by one looking, lalo na kung ikaw ay medyo magaling sa analysis, no? sa numbers lalo na, you will see na uh, yun pala ang problema ng aking company na kailangan kong masolusyonan. And then, just to tell you, ganito rin ang ginagawa ng mga consultants natin. Siyempre, hindi na nila sinasabi sa inyo yun dahil pag alam nyo na yun, nasabihin nyo, ay, hindi na pala kita kailangan. O, diba? So, kailangan uh, matutunan ninyo to para kayo mismo ay kaya nyo gawin yung mga ginagawa ng mga consultant. Kasi the first consultant should be 
the owner of the company, right? So, okay, lagyan natin ng isang ano, ng isang decimal point. Okay, ganun, bakit ayaw niya ng decimal point? Okay, something wrong here. Okay, so bakit ganun? Okay, so uh, sa isa yun natin ulit. So, nilalagyan lang natin sa pang decimal point just so makita natin yung mas correct picture. Hmm? Uh, okay, so initially, tingnan natin kagad. No? Compare na natin yung ating Uh, vertical analysis. Um, Siyempre, ang pag-compare natin uh, rito is, first of all, um, uh, by, by, by itself muna, no? uh, within the group, uh, within the column of 20, for example, if you're doing 2017, just do it within the column 2017. Okay? Yun muna, no? Uh, lalo na kung wala kang history pa, no? Ito lang ang hawak mo, for example, 2017, wala kang masyadong analysis dyan. You will say, ah, 45% pala yung cost of sales ko. Ang gross profit ko, 55%. Salaries ko, 20%. Okay? Benefits, 3.1. Rent, 10%. Okay? Transportation, 2.1. And so on, no? Marketing, 0.6%. OPEX, 41. EBITDA. Ang EBITDA means... Uh, earnings for income tax, depreciation and amortization. Ang depreciation natin, 3.3% ng 2017. Taxes, 8%. Okay, so ito, uh, itong 8% na to ay, in, ano to ha, it, it's not uh, computed uh, correctly. I mean, uh, example lang natin to, no? Uh, for example, sa amin, may say, merong VAT, uh, non-VAT. Uh, so, may ilang percent, so parang 3% lahat or something sales. Pero, meron ka pa rin income tax sa dulo eh, right? So, pinagsama-sama ko na yun. Panwari, ito yung lumabas sa final tax. No? So, dito siyempre, pansin nyo, kinupit ko lang siya at 8%. Hindi naman kasi siya magiging 10%, sobrang laki na nun. Kasi may mga, ano ka dyan, deductible. So, just uh, uh, accept that. Kunwari, nakumpute talaga ng, ton, ng tunay yan and you have that. Okay, and then, your final values are no uh, 56,000 52,95 usually ang mga may-ari hindi nila tinitingnan yung mga percentage ang dinitingnan lang nila yung bottom line 50,000 that's it pero dapat ang importante yung tingnan dito yung percentage right kasi no matter how big yung value na yan you will always compare it to the total sales so in this case for example ang gross margin mo is 55% ang net income 2% lang. So, meaning, ang nawala sa'yo between gross profit papuntang net income is almost 53%. No? 2% na lang ang take home mo. Okay? So, no matter how huge your sales is, usually, 2% lang ang kinikita mo net income. And then, buwaba pa ng 1.8 ng 2018, buwaba pa ng 2.7%. Loss ka pa noong 2019. So, minsan, magagalit ang may ano nito. And then, Uh, pag-aralan niyan, ganito, ganyan. So, dapat ikaw nag-aaral noon kasi ikaw may ari, right? So, anong problema rito? Okay, kitang-kita naman, di ba? O, yan, ito. Isang sasabihin dyan. Ang dami-dami kasi nating tao. Tinan mo yung salaries, tumaas sa 478, naging 530, naging 605. Tumaas ang 600,000. Ang litit ang kinikita natin, ang laki-laki ng peso sweldo natin. Pero, if you will look at the sweldo, 17%, bumaba pa pa nga ang percentage niya. Uh, hindi ko ito sinasadya, no? pero usually talagang ito nangyayari dyan. At talagang ang pinag-iinitan ng mga mayari, usually yung salaries at benefits. Huwag naman, kasi yun ang mga tao natin. Okay? Look at the rent. It's also decreasing. Transportation, tumaas ang 2.6% noong 2018, buwaba ulit 2.4%. Okay? Business licenses, hindi na masyadong mataas. Ma repair, marketing, hindi rin. No? 2.9% nga lang eh. O wala pang 1%, napakaliit nitong marketing na to. Okay? Baka nga kailangan mo taasan yan para magtumaas ang sales mo. Yan ang mga isang po pwede mong tingnan dyan. 
So, tandaan natin, we are looking at the vertical, pero we are comparing it across the years. No? So, meaning, vertical, pero nag-horizontal ka. Pero hindi pa ito yung tunay na horizontal. Ha? You are comparing the, the verticals of the three years. Pero ang pinaka number one dito na glaring, I hope you saw this already, is ang cost of sales. Ako bilang OM, operations manager, usually, ang tinitinan ko yung cost of sales. Tinan nyo yung cost of sales, tumaas siya to 45 to 48 to 55 percent. Something is wrong with the cost of producing the sales. Kung ito ay school, tumataas ang sweldo ng teacher mo, hindi tumataas ang tuition, or kumukonti ang nag-enroll. As number one. O ang sales mo rito is yung pricing. Baka may problema ang pricing mo. Kailangan mo sigurong itaas na yung pricing mo. Dahil ang taas na ng cost of producing the goods. Or baka ang kailangan mong gawin is gumawit ka ng mga lean methods para ang cost of sales mo of producing the sales will improve. Kasi if you improve that, then all the rest will improve. You don't need a lot. No? 2.3%, 2.7%, that's only 5%. If you will peg this 55%, just lower it down to 50%, okay, 50% instead of 55%. Ang 5% ng 3.5 million, ang 5% niyan is, syempre, ang 10% ang, ang is 350,000. So, ang 5% is 175,000. If you add 175,000 to the bottom line, you are already earning just by that. So, hindi mo kailangan magbukas ang tao. <laughs> Wag ganun kagad nang iisipin natin. Tinan natin siya, maghinay-hinay kayo, magunos dili kayo. Kasi tinan ninyo ang cost of sales. Ito ang magiging problema niya. That's number one. Okay, so, ang, ang, yan ang usual na tinitingnan ng, ng mga operations manager. Okay? Usually, pag tinanong mo naman ang marketing guy, kasabihin niya, yung sales, ipapop up yung sales. Kailangan mataas ang sales natin. But if you look at it carefully, even if you increase the sales, kung mataas pa rin ang cost of sales mo, Ang bottom line mo, mababa pa rin. Right? Kasi, oh, dumoble man to, of course, tataas yan. Tataas yan. No? But, uh, okay, so, tataas pa rin siya. Pero ang problem, uh, ang bottom line mo, maliit pa rin. Okay? So, let's let's uh, project that here. No? Uh, sana meron pa tayo enough time. 2020. So, for example, what you want is to increase the sales by 20%. Okay, tumaas nga, 4 million. Pero since 55% pa rin siya, uh, wala kang ginawa sa cost of sales. Okay? And you will see, ang bottom line mo, 3 million. And then, let's say, dito pa rin ang mga pre, ano natin, no? Ang ating, ang ating uh, percentages. So, H2 will have, yan. Okay? So, tinan natin lahat yan. Given this, syempre, tumataas siya as habang tumataas ang sales. And then, if you will notice, okay, 114,000 na tayo. And, this is, uh, um, let's see, how many percent yung talagang tunay na value natin. No? Okay, so 25, 25%. Okay, sorry. Hindi pala. So, dapat H to. H, H2 times 55%. Okay, so 55%. So, just to maintain uh, our our ano, our ratios. Okay. And then our uh, depreciation and then taxes. If you will look at the income, uh, oh, yun. Uh, if you will look at the income, boba pa rin. Right? So there's nothing, uh, you know, nothing changed. If you will notice, it's still 
um, you know, loss. It's, it's still a loss. Mm, bakit? Baba, mataas pa rin kasi ang ating, ang ating percentage. Tantaasan din siya eh, right? So, so that is the marketing solution. Of course, if, if you are part naman of, of accounting, usually the accounting solution is to lessen the OPEX. Itong pag-iinitan ng accounting dyan. But if you will look at the OPEX, the OPEX is just 36% of uh, the sales. Magbaba ka man dyan, no, ng value. If you will not do anything with the sales, okay, so let's, let's just uh, copy the sales. Okay. And uh, okay, so ibaba natin ang ating mga ang ating mga uh, hindi natin pwedeng ibaba ang salaries, of course, bawal 'yon. Ang rent wala kang magagawa. Okay, let's say binabaan natin ang ang ating ang ating transportation by 10%. So 0.9 na lang, no? Okay? Uh, representation, baba. Wala kang magagawa sa business licenses dahil hindi naman sa atin 'yan. Repair and then marketing binaba pa rin natin. 27,000 uh, OPEX is 1.2 million So, mapansin mo, walang masyadong na, naibigay sa atin, na idulot sa atin Okay? And then since you still have yung taxes, alam mo, hindi mo po pwedeng bawasan yan, the net income tumas ng konti, pero I mean loss pa rin, right? So, the best scenario is increase increase the sales Okay? So, sabi na, huwag naman Kahit hindi na 20%, kahit 10% lang. Increase the sales. Now, decrease the cost of sales. Okay? Decrease the cost of sales. Alimbawa, i-decrease lang natin siya sa 50%. Right? And then, if you want, uh, if you want to just uh, increase yung salaries by by the inflation rate. No? Inflation rate lang. Okay, uh, ang rent, wala ka nang magagawa dyan. Transportation, representation, okay. Uh, just increase the, all the, the, the areas, no? The OPEX by just, uh, uh, just 5% or this the inflation rate. Okay, uh, uh, in depreciation natin, mag-i-increase din syempre siya, no? Um, let's say, yan, tama na itong 110,000 and then the taxes will be like that. So, if you will notice, kumita pa tayo ngayon na 4%, which is 152,000. We did not do anything. We did not do much. Hindi natin ginalawang OPEX. Tumaas pa nga ang OPEX. Right? Pero, what, what really solves it is the joint solution of the marketing and the operations management. So, yung tatlong yan, ha? Operations, management, uh, the, the, the head of the operations, kailangan lean, the head of accounting, uh, wag naman sobrang control. In fact, para sa akin nga, dapat increase nga ang, ang marketing expense. Eh. Kasi, you're not producing enough sales, and in order to do that, dapat ang marketing expense mo dataas ng konti. And then, of course, uh, yung marketing solution, operation solution, and then the financial solution. So, all those three, uh, working together, will achieve what we want. Okay? One last thing, yung tinatawag natin na tunay na tunay na uh, uh, horizontal analysis. So, halimbawa, hindi natin ito ginawa. No? Uh, ito kasi forecast na natin ito. Eh. This is our ideal. No? Hindi na natin nga pagkasama yan dahil hindi yan tunay pa nang nangyayari. Tsaka lalo ngayon, 2020, talagang hindi mangyayari yan because nagkaroon ng COVID. So, but anyway. So, let's say yung 2019, Ilang percent yan ang increase yan uh, from 2017? Okay? So, if you will notice, ang increase niya from 2017 is about 46%, but you have to raise it by 1 over 2. 1 over 2 kasi 2 years yung pinanggalingan, no? 2017 to 2018, 1, 2018 to 2019, 2. So, 2 years yan. And, so, mapapansin ninyo, uh, it has increased um, uh, 29%, 21% ang increase niya, um, 21% annually for 2 years. Okay? But look at the cost of sales. Nag-increase siya ng 33% and therefore ang gross profit nag-increase lang ng 9.47% annually. So dito pa lang makikita mo, there's something wrong with your cost of sales. 
ang cost of sales mo is overtaking the, the sales by 12%. Right? Okay, so continuing. Uh, tumaas ang salary lang by 12.5%. Annually, ang benefits 10%. Ang rent, 7%. Transportation, tumaas ng 30%. O yan, pwede mong sitahin yan. Sabihin mo, bakit ganun? Ang transportation, 30% ang tinaas. Eh ma'am, ganito po kasi. Pag nagsisales po kami, Siyempre po, pumupunta po kami doon. Tumataas po yung work and transportation natin. Eh, ma-traffic po. Kailangan ganito. So, yan, di ba? Yan ang mga ngayon ang mga consideration dyan. O, ang representation, tumaas ng 22%. Yan ang mga atakihin mo ngayon dyan. Sasabihin mo, hinan nyo naman na increase ang sales natin, 21%. Sana punta yan. Ang salaries natin, pinapatasin natin ng 12%. Di ba? Uh, we are spending more on the increase of, uh, you know, our representation and transportation rather than our salaries. Okay, ang OPEX, o oh, 14% ang tinaas every year. Ang EBITDA, bumababa na nga. Instead na tumataas, bumababa siya ng 6% a year. O oh, ang depreciation, tumataas ng 11% a year. Ang taxes, tumataas ng 21% a year. Wala mo tayong magagawa ron, right? Ito, ang nangyayari kaya yung number kasi... Uh, hindi siya tumataas eh, kung hindi bumawaba siya. So, it's decreasing in value uh, every year. So, hindi niya compute kasi wala namang increase. And we are competing for the increase. That's why naging ganun yan. So, it's undefined and therefore, there's a problem there. So, as I said, uh, this is just an analysis. Ang tawag dito ay, ay uh, a vertical and horizontal analysis in order for you to try and solve your uh, your uh, company. What's wrong with your company? Ngayon, itong 2020 na ito, kung mapapansin nyo, di ba meron tayong mga projection dyan ng mga forecast. Those forecast can now enter as a budget. Yan ang magiging budget natin dun sa ating general ledger. Remember, pinakita ko sa inyo na meron dun na budget. No? So, paano mag-work yung budget na yan? So, for example, you have 3.8 million sales in 2020 Ang budget mo, eh, dapat i-divide mo yan by 12. So, dapat by January, ang sales mo na ay 321. By February, you have to add another 1 of 321. So, that means sa February, dapat times 2 na yan, 642. And then another, 600, another 321 by March. And then April. So, so may kita mo how far are you from your target. Ganon din sa lahat, sa expense, since nakabudget na yung lahat, salaries mo for the year, benefits mo for the year, and so on. Of course, uh, ang ano ko dito, minsan kasi ang gumagawa nito mga controller, mga CPA, usually, ang tingin nila kagad, bawas, no? Uh, ang tawag niyan, tagpas, no? Ayun ang tawag dyan, eh. Parang ang, ang, ang ano na nila is slash, no? Slasher daw sila. Alam mo, hin ang dapat natin kasi, huwag natin i-treat lahat as cost reduction. Ang tawag dun kasi ay cost management, hindi cost reduction. Kasi if you will look at this, no, ang sabi ko pa nga, bilang, bilang consultant ng company nito, the, the, the idea is not to decrease your expenses, lalo na yung marketing, the idea is to increase it. Right? Kung mapapansin nyo, even our 2020 version, uh, we even factored in a 5% increase in all the OPEX, and yet, bottom line, tumaas pa siya ng four, ng, from loss of 2.7 to 4% now, income. Bakit ganun? Because we took care of one uh, problem, which is yung cost of sales. So, 50% ngayon ang kanyang margin. In fact, if you can lower it down, yung cost of sales mo, to a 45% ng 2017. Siyempre, hindi yan mabilis. So, nanggaling ka sa 55 eh. Pumunta ka muna sa 50. And then, next year, 48. Kasi, babalik ka sa 2018 uh, levels. And then, balik ka sa 45. Tapos, saka muna, squeeze pa yon So, mga lean management, uh, lean, lean manufacturing, uh, lean companies, they know what I'm talking about. Ang tawag yan ay cost management. Less is more. So, you have to take care of your expenses in order for you to grow. Kasi sometimes, hindi ang sagot ay laging increase the sales. Kung mag-increase ang sales, mataas din naman yung cost production mo. Eh, wala rin. Ang ending mo, bottom line mo, naghihirap pa rin. Ganun din ang company. So, analyze your income and expense, and this is the way to do it. 
uh, do your uh, vertical analysis in order